Hello and welcome to Arvada Insights. I'm Arvada Mayor Mark Williams. When older parts of the city need a facelift, there's no group out there that does it better than Aura. Aura stands for the Arvada Urban Renewal Authority, and I'm happy to have the Executive Director, Maureen Fair, here with us today. Welcome, Maureen. Thank you. It's good to be here. Maureen, talk to us a little bit about what Aura is and what important work you do. Aura is the development arm of the city. We go into the older parts of the community and we uh, rehabilitate it, we renovate it, we bring in retail and office and residential. And how do you do that? We do it by partnering with the private sector. We will uh, work to find a developer to come in and develop and we come in and help um, bridge any gaps financial gaps or um, just help through getting through the process with the city. Sometimes we hear some negative media about urban real renewal districts and, and how they operate. How do you diffuse that? Well, I think um, what the negative is about is change. Even areas that are run down, it's, we would come in and change it, and change can be hard. So I think what um, works best for us is um, our past, to see what we've done, our accomplishments that we've, um, what we've had, and that can uh, make people feel a little more comfortable. A perfect example of that is what you've done in Old Town. Yes. And an even better example of that is the old stationary building that's now been converted. Right. Share with us what happened there. So this is the A.L. Davis building, and as you said, it was a stationary store for 50 years. It is on the corner of Grandview and Old Wadsworth. And we worked with um, the developer to go in and renovate that building. So he did a complete gut on the ground floor and the, um, the second floor, and he brought in the Arvada Brew Company, and it is a great anchor for that corner there it brings in people from all over the metro area he also brought in a restaurant it's a um, a Belgian fry place and a retail shop and upstairs has been converted to office and um, two very nice loft apartments it's the classic situation of live work and play isn't yes it? it is another area that we're working on in conjunction with the city and urban renewal is our desire for a hotel what do you think about having a hotel in Arvada? I think it is fabulous. We have done numerous hotel studies, and the hotel studies all show that Arvada is ripe for a, um, a hotel, one off of Wadsworth and perhaps one off of Kipling. So we have been working with the hotel community to try to bring one into Old Town. Right now we are looking at the site where the old um, Brooklyn's restaurant used to be, which is just south of Old Town on Old Wadsworth. And we are hopefully, you know, getting close, knock on wood, um, hopefully we will get one soon. That's terrific. We all know that light rail will be coming to Arvada in 2016. One of the stations is going to be in Old Town, and we're going to do some transit-oriented development in conjunction with that. What's Urban Renewal's role in that? Well, first of all, this is one of the most exciting things to happen to Arvada. We have three stops in Arvada, one on on Sheridan and in Old Town, like you said, and another one off of Kipling. Two of those are within urban renewal areas. And the reason they're in urban renewal areas is because we really want to capitalize on the potential for development. So in the Old Town area, we think is our best opportunity because it is a fabulous destination already. And we want to make sure that when the station comes, that the development that happens works with the community that's there already. We have a historic district, so the development needs to fit in and blend with what we have. The, um, the biggest opportunity is actually just down the hill from Old Town between Wadsworth and Vance. We have eight acres, and this eight acre site uh, we are partnering with the city and with RTD. In fact, RTD has designated this as a pilot program because this has so much possibility between the Old Town area and being right next to Wadsworth and with the 100 plus thousand people that are gonna come on a monthly basis. So we are going to issue an RFQ for, which is a re, uh, request for qualifications to developers to help us develop that eight acre site. We are looking to have, um, first of all, 400 parking spaces for RTD, for the commuters, um, but we'd also like to see higher density development there with um, housing and office, um, retail, maybe a hotel. 
you know, that is a great opportunity. And part of what we're doing there is learning from the mistakes that other communities have made in terms of just having surface parking and our desire to have vertical parking so that we can maximize the use of the space. Exactly. We do not want that eight acres to be one big surface parking lot. We want to have the parking be, to be put into a garage so we can have all that development happen around it. We've seen a lot of uh, new construction going on at Kipling Ridge. What's that all about? Yeah, that's our, our urban renewal area as well. and. The beginning of that urban renewal area was the development of the super target site. And the next phase of that is the um, apartments that are coming up right now. We have 387 high-end, absolutely gorgeous apartments that are being built right now. The first ones are going to come online this summer. And that is our, um, our last station on, on the line. And the developer is looking to build a parking structure there as well. He doesn't want to have the whole area be surfaced just like at Old Town and put in more housing. You know, that's absolutely terrific. Maureen, it's so important to have the Urban Renewal Authority as a partner to the city, and I think the citizens can see what exciting things are happening in our city, and I think a lot of it is because of the work of the Urban Renewal Authority. And I thank you, and I thank you, our entire board, for what you're doing for the city. Well, thank you. I'm Mayor Mark Williams. Thanks for joining us for Arvada Insights and hearing more about the Arvada Urban Renewal Authority. That's a wrap.